What's up, guys? Hyper D Kaiser here. <clears throat> Sorry, I sound a little low, but it's like 6:30 in the morning, so I'm trying to get this video up for you guys. So, um, here we've got my deck profile for uh, my master I would build. Um, just see, it does look like a bit of a mess, but trust me, it, it has been testing rather well and can perform OTKs like no tomorrow. Kind of a little bit slow, depending on the hand, can have a little slow start, but still pretty consistent nonetheless. So let's get the starter. Uh, for boss monster, we have the we have the nice dark arm dragon. Since you're running plenty of darks and miracle fusion, as well as other ways to get stuff out of your graveyard and stuff like that. I need. I kind of want to test that call of the Hornets, but so far not really. I haven't really had a need for them yet. So. Uh, we have the black wing Zephyros, just to bounce things back that you might have. Uh, might need, you know, like a bounce back bubble man, bounce back goldfish, kage, diamond dude, whatever you want to really need to. Uh, we have the triple diamond dude. This is my probably personal favorite card in pretty much any hero deck. You've always seen me with the diamond dude, so he's probably one of, like I said, he's my favorite uh, hero monster actually, next to absolute zero, so. Next we have three kage to uh, You're going to be normal summoning quite a bit, so why not? <laughs> Uh, they're easily searched out with one of the Xyz monster, King of Flower Imps, as well as a Dark to Fuel for Dark Arm Dragon. Same with Diamond Dude. Then next up, we have three of our new guy, our new Stratos type person here, Elemental Hero Shadow Mist. Um, he's slowly becoming. He might actually be slightly better than Stratos, just because of the utility, be able to actually either get a hero or a mask, just a plus, regardless. He might not be able to pat back row like Stratos could, but nonetheless, he's still definitely, since Stratos is going, he's definitely a welcome addition to the hero archetype. Um, we also have three tin goldfish. Like I said, normal summon. Let's say you want to go, you could go to normal, special, special, ditch a spell, get a shadow mist, and it's four monsters on board for three cards out of your hand. Then you also put another card back in your hand so you have four cards once again with shadow mist not to mention after that you go into king of feral imp to add uh kage to kage and then blah 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 oh sorry about that <clears throat> um then we have two summer monk um it can be quite easy to run out of targets for some of your spells as in your D draws, uh, you can dump mass change if you really need to, because you can just get it back with mass charge. Uh, dump a dead E call or Rota or something like that. So he's generally not that bad. Or you can dump a lore, because a lore isn't needed, but it's, it's helpful. So you can just, just extra spells you can just dump. I also added in two Bubble Man. Um, I felt like I didn't have enough heroes in here. With just the Diamond Dunes and Shadow Mist, so added in Bubble Man just for that added uh, level 4 monster, just as well as a water target, as well as an E hero. So it's just, it just adds a lot of synergy to the deck and stuff like that. So, of course, we have three E calls in the Rota. Um, you need to be able to search. Excuse me again. <laughs> you need to, be able to search your, your hero cards right away, like it's, it's a necessity almost. Um, they obviously, they obviously make the deck work. Um, a lower for draw power, D, 2D draw for draw power. Miracle Fusion and Dark Art, dark Hole. Uh, these are your power cards. You don't want to waste them for no reason. Um, I usually like to hang on to Miracle Fusion unless I have to use it, or I know I can definitely win that turn. Uh, dark Hole is just there just for mass removal. I mean, you have absolute zero, but sometimes you don't have access to them, so there you go. Uh, we have a Foolish Barrel, we have one ma one Mass Charge. Uh, I've been testing this card out a lot, and it's actually been very, very helpful. Um, just the to be able to get a hero and the change quick spell, quick play spell back to your hand right away. Um, yes, at the same time, you need both in the graveyard. But, you know... It's usually not that big of a not that big of a problem. Like worst comes worst, you can pitch one. You can pitch a mass change with someone to get shadow mist uh, or whatever uh, overlay for something. Detach the hero, get them both back to your hand, and it's just like you didn't lose anything really. 
We also have two MSTs and two mass change. Uh, MST is just for back removal in general. Mass change because they actually access the other half of the fusions that we play. So then we have generic back row bottomless, uh, mirror force, torrential warning, and then two brick for skill. Just for effect negation, blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> on to the extra deck. Uh, we have Nova Master. Uh, just because the only fire that we really run is Level Chain over here. And, you know, it, it, it has come up where I've had to use Nova Master. You know, use Level Chain as a fusion material, so. Whatever. Uh, we have the Shining. Uh, honestly, there's no way in the main deck to make him. However, we do side two super polymerizations. Like, I haven't really made a side deck, but definitely no super poly is in there. So. Should you need the super poly with a light monster, he's there for the option. Uh, let me move you down here. Then we have one elemental hero eschewed out, and two elemental hero absolute zero. He is your other main boss monster you usually go to. One of the others, I should say. <laughs> Um, obviously he's the monster board wipe, and then you, you can also mass change him into mass hero acid. Now when you mass change zero into acid, you get a full field board wipe. Um, because of the TCG rulings, the way it happens is zero going on chain link one, acid becomes chain link two. They can only respond to acid's effect. So no matter what, their monsters are getting wiped out. Uh, we also have the Mask Hero Koga, just in case we need to mass change the Shining after we, you know, side deck and stuff. Then we have our last boss monster of the deck. We have Mask Hero Dark Law. He is ridiculously good. Um, he's probably one of, he has probably become next to Zero. Him, Zero, and Diamond Dude are probably my favorite monsters right now. As of, as of uh, June 28th, 2014, they are my three main uh, favorite monsters in Yu-Gi-Oh! right now. Uh, his effect is pretty much a macrocosmos just on your opponent's side, and whenever they add cards, except or, add cards to their hand, except in your draw phase, you banish a random card out of their hand. So they want to go charge lab grade, you say, <laughs> which is really funny. They have to mill and banish those three cards. They, they add a card, and then hey, guess what? We banish one out of their hand. They want to go Rota, you banish one out of their hand. They want to go Tanky, they banish one out of their hand. Blah 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 blah. All those good stuff. And the best part is you can go, let's say they activate Tenki while you have Diamond Dude or Shadow Muslim board. You chain mass you, you chain mass change and go into Dark Law, and then they're like, oh crap. And then they lose a card out of their hand. So you're still he's really good. I I really like him a lot. As moving on to the Xyz monsters, we have one Master Key Beetle, one King of the Feral Imp. One Exiton Knight. He he's like one of those filler. Like I just added him because I could. Like there was an extra spot open, and I said, eh, "Why not? We'll throw him in." Uh, we have Level Level Machine, Abyss Dweller, and also One on One, my favorite Ixies monster. Let's. <laughs> I actually kind of wanted to fit a uh, Rank Up Magic the Seventh one in here. I probably could just make it the forty first card and then take out Exiton for a Chaos One on One. But I see, I find myself going into one on one just normally, just a lot. So unless I find root, unless I can take out another card to be able to go to two one on ones and one seal one on one, probably not gonna add the seventh one in. And we also have in the side deck. Um, this is more of an option, I should say, not than a side deck card. Like I don't really have a side deck made for this deck yet because I can't really play it in the you know in real life yet. So. I normally don't make side decks unless I'm actually playing the deck in real life. So definitely pol Super Polys is definitely even there. But Mass Change the Second, it's one of those things where you can go... It, you can literally discard a card and then target any monster you want and turn it into a Mass, mass Tier Fusion. I find that really, really powerful. Um, just because you, let's say... I mean, the build would have to be a little bit different, but let's say you mind control one of their monsters. You can use this, mind, literally change their monster into one of your master or fusion monsters, and then you keep it. So it's, I mean, you go like one, one for one. You minus yourself two cards, but at the same time, you got rid of their monster, possibly a threat on their board. So who knows? I don't know. Like, I, I think it's a good card, so. We'll, we'll see. I'll have to test out a few more things with that card. But other than that, um... I kinda I do like mass charge. I don't think I'd play more than one, just because if you after a while I, I feel like it does get cloggy if you play more than one, just because of the way the card is. Um, other than that, I really enjoy this build. 
uh, may look a little familiar. Like I did take ideas from when I I was testing mask heroes before uh, Crow Cresta had posted his mask his Sabatiel heroes uh, build. And then I was like, oh, this actually might work a little bit better. So I tried out the Curry Bandits, and this build didn't work just because I milled a whole bunch of spells that I didn't want to mill. So I was like, this is not working at all. Then I tried the Summoner Monks. The Summoner Monks actually did work out a lot better than I thought they would. So I'm actually glad I added those in. So yeah, like like, like these little things here and there that I took from other places. But most of the, like, the main build that I started with hasn't changed all that much. So I do like that. Um... The th I went down to two D draws instead of three. Like Allure seemed a little bit better, a little bit more consistent, just because you run so many darks that it's possible. Same with Key Beetle. He protect like Key Beetle protects your main monster. You don't want to get blown up, so that type of thing. So who knows? But um, anyway, uh, thanks for watching once again. Uh, let me know. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, if I should change anything, that type of thing. I want to like hear see you guys start commenting on my videos a little bit more than just, more than just liking it please, please so just give me some feedback that type of thing let me know like what i should try out that type of thing so all right guys thanks for watching and i will catch you later peace